So this is meant to be a fun little video. I tried on several different styles trying to decide what to wear. I finally arrived at one that's really special and looks amazing with this black turtleneck. I'll save that one for last, but I did try this one on uh, first. This is Beltrass's Dalgona 16 in Root Fear Float Blonde. Now this is the hand-tied version of Dalgona, my favorite, um, no permatees, beautiful, beautiful layering, textured ends, it's flirty, it's just fantastic, and I think it looks spectacular with just about anything I try it on with. But in particular, this beautiful turtleneck. Doesn't it look great? Now, I didn't choose this one, but it was definitely in my final lineup of wig options. Here's the second one I tried on. Do you recognize this one? This is Ellen Villa's Leah 2. And what I believe is Sandy Blonde Rooted because this is one of the wig styles that was sent to me by Betsy um, with a little bit of a Betsy baby bang in there. And I just exacerbated that lift at the front, brought out this shaggy texture and layers. Love the weight line, this little notch cut around the bottom. It just makes it look so natural and so salon fresh. A full lace front and left monofilament side part. I love Leah too. I wore it over the summer quite a bit. I thought it looked beautiful with this turtleneck, but alas, and ultimately I did not decide on this one. So we're gonna move on to the next one I tried on. I tried this one on thinking it would look beautiful with this black turtleneck, and it does. Now the occasion is just a very casual lunch with my husband. I don't even have jewelry on. I'm just getting ready to go. But I wanted to try on the most perfect hair for the occasion. I wanted something casual, but yet free. And this one seems to be a little too glamorous, a little bit too much volume up here just for going out to lunch today. This is something that I wear on the weekend. Um, it's a bit more sexy, sexified, <laughs> and it looks beautiful in updos. And although it looks stunning against this black turtleneck, ultimately I didn't decide to wear this one. So I tried this one on because I knew that John Renault's Palm Springs Blonde would hit the spot, and it does. It looks stunning against a black, solid black top. This is Julianne by John Renault, the Julianne Petite in Palm Springs Blonde. Love, love, love this color. It's got a lighter colored root on it. We all love it for that reason. So I absolutely love wearing it and I haven't had it out of the box in quite a while. So I thought, well, now is the time to do that. And it's gonna need a little bit of a squirt of water and a little bit of rearrangement here to get the front pieces just the way I like it. I don't have a lot of time for this today because I need to get out of here and meet my husband for lunch. But this was one of the contenders today. So this is a bit of a blast from the past. This is Raquel Welch's Straight Up With A Twist and Shaded Biscuit. Oh, I love this style. It's been in the box forever. Uh, this is the original one that I purchased about four years ago. I think this was a new style in 2016, if I'm not mistaken, and I just love it. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of straight hair, but as you can see with all of this layering, there's a lot of interest. It frames the face beautifully. The length is perfect for this heat-friendly fiber. It has a gorgeous lace front, and I think that the length of this looks fantastic with turtlenecks. I remember wearing this one to an Ohio State Buc Buckeyes uh, get together at my sister's house and I had a Buckeye shirt on with a turtleneck and this looked great. Everybody loved it so I decided to try it on. Ultimately I did not decide to wear this one to lunch today but I did decide to wear this next one and so I chose this Beltras Caliente and Tres Leches Blonde. This black sweater really sets the stage for this creamy, beautiful blonde, doesn't it? It's soft and it's creamy, but never mind the blonde. What about the style? It's drop dead gorgeous, isn't it? It's a mid-length beach wave style. It's been taken up down on the ends. It's very casual. So how many wigs did I try on? I don't know, five or six, maybe I wasn't counting. I just decided to roll the tape while I got ready and chose the right hair. 
So away I go, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.